Just a quick synopsis for this Sinister Sunday. We are going to do Chunk Lagoon history. This is in Micronesia. And this is basically what the Japan's Pearl Harbor was. And this is what happened. And now it is the largest graveyard for planes and ships. What's scarier than a graveyard at night? Probably a haunted graveyard that sits 50 feet underwater. This Micronesia's Chunk Lagoon, formerly known as Truck Lagoon, served as a fortified base for the Japanese Navy during World War II. And it was attacked by American forces during a three-day airstrike in 1944. Dozens of warships, planes, tanks, and even railroad cars sank to the bottom of the lagoon where they remain today in what's known as Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon. The ship's graveyard is immensely popular with scuba divers, one of the best wreck diving destinations on the planet. Underwater explorers can swim up close to the wartime vessels. They are littered with weapons, gas masks, and even, according to some superstitious divers, waterlogged ghosts. The Americans hoped to wipe out the Japanese Imperial Fleet by combining airstrikes, surface ship actions, and submarines attacks to deadly effects. A week before Operation Hailstone was due to launch, however, the Japanese moved many of their large warships to Palu, fearing that Truck Lagoon had been compromised since the American invasion of the Marshall Islands. However, the vast majority of the fleet remained at anchor in the lagoon. And when Operation Hailstone struck on February 16, 1944, their former safe haven swiftly became a death trap. The attack lasted two days, and the ships that managed to escape the lagoon eventually succumbed to cruisers, gunfighters, or submarine attack. When Operation Hailstone concluded, the Japanese fleet had lost 16 warships, including light cruisers, destroyers, submarines, and an aircraft transport vessel. In the attack, 32 merchant ships also sank, and more than 250 Japanese aircraft was destroyed. Many of these ships were loaded with reinforcements, supplies, destined for Japan so they could keep their stronghold on the Pacific. The vast majority of crews and cargoes went down with their vessels, and as such, the lagoon acts as a final resting place for many Japanese sailors as well as their ships. Operation Hailstone proved to be a major turning point in World War II. Nowadays, Chuck Lagoon's Ghost Fleet has experienced somewhat of a resurrection. Vessels that once waged war have become sanctuaries of life. The divers who visit the wrecks can gain valuable insight into the past, as many of them still display the cargo that went down with them. By the way, guys, like you see in these uh, video clips that I've gotten, there was 36,000 like tons of petrol on board and all sorts of stuff so they also think well what's the dangers to the environment leaving all that stuff down there so just to give you an idea of how bad it really is down there 40 were killed just when one fleet carrier was damaged a battleship was slightly damaged and 25 aircraft were destroyed 4,500 people were killed when a light cruiser sank, four destroyers were sunk, three auxiliary cruisers sunk, six auxiliary ships sunk, 32 merchant ships sunk, nine vessels damaged, 250 plus aircraft were destroyed. So that's a lot of souls that are sitting there down on the bottom of this lagoon, guys. So I can imagine it probably is very haunted. Let's see if they have any ghost stories about this. 
So Josh and Gabe were divers, uh, and they went down to monitor and look at the site. So basically, Josh saw a lot of unexploded bombs, so they kind of regrouped and went to a second site. And when they went to a second site, they were surprised that the truck engine started making running sounds from one of the trucks that were down there. Funny enough, someone actually did a paranormal investigation down there, and they captured an EVP with the sound of the trunk engine trying to turn over and starting up. So that's kind of crazy that the trucks, like, make those sounds. They're trying to drive the heck out of there. Other divers have reported sounds coming from the shipwreck. They've been near the engine room and heard noises of machinery and grinding near the engine room where there is a pile of human remains. The whole island itself, guys, seemed to be, like, haunted too, the area around it. One local woman reported seeing a strange glowing light floating through a cave. And a member of the Destination Truth team said that he was touched by something while he was in that cave. Okay, so most divers have reported hearing like sounds of automobile engines and things starting up and machinery. Um, divers also reported hearing human voices emulating from the water. Now, the Japanese government did try to make recovery efforts to, like, get the deceased out of there and bury them. But despite that, there is still a lot of human remains down there. Now, of course, the local people get all upset about this whole thing. So they've reported seeing ghosts and spirits rising from the water and that they believe the area is cursed. They warn outsiders not to visit the area because the dead might cause harm to anyone who dare explore the sunken ships. And a lot of divers also have reported seeing ghostly figures hearing strange noises such as sounds of planes and bombs exploding. Some even claim to have felt the presence of the dead around them and have felt like they have been being watched. There was even one diver who claimed to have explored one of these sunken ships and have claimed to see a ghost figure of a sailor dressed in his uniform staring at them from inside the ship. Some said they've seen a pilot actually sitting in the cockpit, his hands still on the control, in the wreckage down there. Now, if you guys are thinking, well, I want to go there, you probably can. However, it is a law that you cannot remove any of the artifacts or anything from the site if you dive. So, hey, maybe you guys want to go check it out. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.